It's Nightly Fix on News Talk 93. Thursdays at 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Get fixed. Welcome back to Nightly Fix on News Talk 93. FM. It's a boy, Nara. And Ari. And Ari. And with us, we got a very, very special guest comedian, poet, Bruce Golden Impressionist, Gynecologist. songwriter, gynecologist. <laughs> I'm just have squeezing about them. How much more? How much more? <laughs> I had to. Today? Michael Abrams is here with Dr. Michael Abrams. Sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. It's Michael, oh. my man. I know the doctor thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So welcome, sir. Welcome. First of all, what what kind of music you young people play? I don't understand a word of what the blow. See, back in the day, back in my day, we had some yeah. we had real music, we had real song, you know? What songs some you got songs turned like, up to? Some songs you, like, Zongo Zongo, Go Zongo Zang. No, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, no, them was some serious yeah. song, you know? Yeah. That yeah. song was saying yeah. something, man. Yeah. What the hell is Brian, this? I'm about CNA's group. Yeah. Oh, my God. What's, what's going on? Yeah, us, yeah. us 90s babies are full with things, yeah. Yeah, it's our song. It's our kind of song. It's what we turn up to. No, that's we, the audience. <laughs> yeah, Burns are on it. I'm Brian. Yeah. 80s, man. They know these yeah. songs. Yeah, they know these songs. Yeah. Everything, man. Right. <laughs> so, Mr. Abrams, what are you talk about tonight? Well, let's, let's get into how you got into being a comedian while being a doctor. How oh, 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 did the comedian thing come about? It wasn't planned. Mm. In a, I think it was 2006, Blacker Ellis asked me to speak at the launch of a comedy show about laughter and your health from a medical perspective. Mm -hmm. And it was about, you know, the benefits of laughter and your health. And I did a, a press launch. And then I did a short monologue because I always said I wanted to try stand-up because stand-up is not, is not easy yeah, to master. So. I did a short monologue and then he put me on the Christmas show, Crack Up at Backyard. Yeah, I know that. And that's the first time I ever went on, like, on a stage and for the pu public to the comedy. Mm -hmm. That's how the comedy thing started. The poetry thing now, the only poems I wrote were when I was younger, you know, you're looking girl and you write things and stuff. That was your thing, you're, you're yeah, the poem yeah, writing yeah, guy. Yeah, them kind okay. of corny kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So then, I never wrote anything to go on a stage and do. Yeah. Mm. And the second comedy show I went on, I totally bomb. You know, you bomb really bad. Yeah. yeah. You know, you nobody laugh. Yeah. yeah. And Come then on. after them, them don't laugh, them start boom. You get that? And they have to take care of yourself. You oh never get gosh. no, no, heckland thing. No, man, it was, it was bomb, it was nuclear it was bombing. Oh, okay. Radioactive material was at the side for years after. Oh, no. So oh, when gosh. I came off stage, you know, I said, blow, how this can work for me? So I wrote a poem about when I bomb. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I went to the next show and did a poem about when I bomb and people laugh because people like when bad things happen to you. Yeah. 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 And that's when that's when the poetry thing started. Okay. It and just kind of evolved after that into the... When I was at university here, mm -hmm. back in the 19... <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Abrams, oh yeah, we don't want to catch you. There was <laughs> that new one, embarrassing. So yeah, I used to the smoker, and in the second year, med students have this show called Smoker to raise money for charity. No, I don't. And I used to write songs and DJ and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I didn't do it for many years. And then I went to a Damon Marley show, mm -hmm. Jamrock. And I don't know if it was the conscious lyrics from the artist on the show or the weed and was smoking around me. I started writing music again. Yeah. <laughs> and everything just kind of come together. So I, most of my material is social commentary, but it's expressed mm -hmm. in different forms. Yeah, can you say Comedy, that? Comedy, music, or, or poetry, or yeah, whatever Yeah, you it said is. that music was your first love. Like, I, I love that. music a lot. Yeah, you love that. Like, that was your first love. So the, the comedic thing was kind of accidental, as you just explained. Kind of just come together. I was always an idiot anyway, so. <laughs> so how you got the, the, the nerve to go back um, the second time after you bombed so miserably? Because I'm a very, I'm a very driven person. Mm -hmm. So, but why you never just stick to it? Stick to the, not, I'm not to comedy, person. but... To, to I'm a very driven person you know. and if something if I try something it doesn't work I'm not going to give up easily like that wow. and I made up that way so mm -hmm. I was determined to, to yeah, succeed definitely yeah I don't believe in quitting really no even if you'd probably you know it's not it's not your no thing. some sometimes there are things that you know it's just not you and I'm not even gonna try in the first place mm -hmm. so like an example of that is dancing yeah you don't want to see me dance <laughs> I think we would. I don't like to post it on our Instagram. That's like a white dude with two left foot on crack. Uh, <laughs> I'm not Justin Timberlake white dude either. I mean, you know. You're like really bad, like yeah, really white, white, white. Redneck white dudes with a country dance. Like McLovin. Wow. Yeah, what? whatever. McLovin. I don't know what that is. Super bad. I have no idea what that is. Somebody be young with me now, please. 
<laughs> I don't know who's that. Uh, Anyways, we are talking about. about basically a hobby. Would you consider them hobbies? Uh, Something mm-hmm. called doctor no, no, is the main. It's been a part of. It's a part of my life. No, it's. Yeah. I can't mm-hmm. call it that anymore because I've. Come you're take ba- it very seriously now. And you're basically known for that, really, like, people, like, gynecology is, like, secondary. You yeah, know? so what no, I no, want no, is... It's my, all right, well it's, it's my family first, and then the gyne thing, and then the entertainment after. Oh, okay. But but I take it very seriously. It's a part of my life now. Okay. Yeah, so what I want to know is, when did you decide that you don't want to take care of vaginas? I think there's a when signal for a commercial break <laughs> on the wall over there. <laughs> 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 hey, I got a call this. So, what in life? You say, you know, man, take care of a chance. So, that's what I want to do in life. <laughs> it's looking after, it's looking after the whole woman. Mm. It's the whole person. Oh, well. A lot of men think. Begins. A lot of men think my job is just about the vagina. It's about mm. the whole woman, you know. Mm-hmm. So, some men, some men. Time signal again. <laughs> <laughs> you have a commercial break for something. <laughs> Not yet. No. no. You sure? Yes. So a lot of men say they like my job, but there are some aspects that many men wouldn't like. You know, like when you you are home two o'clock in the morning, you, you, they call you to the operate, they call you to deliver a baby. Mm-hmm. You turn up and blood is coming at your face and ah, you ah, ah. you end up in the operating room. I know we can go for the break. We can do the commercial break. People hemorrhage and stuff. Oh my gosh. I you could know. see because looking at vaginas all there. Vagina how glean or not that I've seen it. No, it's close, not, sir. I don't know which ones you've been looking at, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know which ones you've been looking at. No, vaginas are our. Them look like them look like predator face. Really? I don't know where you've been going. You go to the old you go to the old people's homes or something. Where is it going? Let's talk the elderly, sir. Backward. What's his name? Backward. Narrow? Mm-hmm. Narrow. Narrow, are you stalking the elderly? Yeah, the elderly. I, I, that's what I think. I'll put is. more something there. Yeah. I suppose they're good in terms of feeling, but looking at them, it's not. It, it represents to me life. Life. Yeah. It represents yeah. to me something to be We're respected. Not saying but the life, look of life them. ends there. And, I mean, it starts there. Sometimes yeah. it ends there too. True, true. <laughs> a man and get killed know. from vagina. Yeah. 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 It's to be respected. True. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Thoughts. So that's what you call me for tonight, just to ask me that question, right? No, 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 no. Well, I have another. Let me ask another question. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think so? Do you ever think that you're going to performing like um, entertainment full time or put put down the doctor stuff or I'm going to? I doubt it because because I love both. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm passionate about both. I love looking after women. Mm-hmm. And it's a wonderful feeling to love your job, right? It's so. I great. feel blessed because yeah. so many people don't like the, the work no. at all. They drag themselves to work and they open the front door and they see a bunch of jerks and say, Lord God, them people are for the next eight yeah, hours. Yeah. When, I, when I go to yeah. my office, I open the door, I see pure beautiful people in my office. Wow. The staff, the patients, I, I just love my job. Mm-hmm. So I, can, I'm, I feel blessed. Yeah. So seeing that you have this this side gig, you have these side gigs as comedian, poet, you, like more people look out for you. So I got Dr. Abraham McCarthy, yeah, I love, like I get, it's like I get more Like it up people, your, your clientele. Your clientele. It's kind of weird because I think I think it probably has had that kind of effect. Mm. I mean, some people um, will hear that I'm a comedian and feel kind of strange being a comedian to, to look at them that way. And then, and then <laughs> they have some people who seek me out because they saw me on TV, saw me doing something and yeah. figured that I'm human. Because some people have this perception that doctors are kind of stuck up. Mm. True. And, you know, when they see me, they realize I'm, I'm not that way. True. And then some people don't know what to do. They turn up at the office, realizes me, and totally freak out. I was just about to ask, yeah, if people try to take you serious when they come to the office. That, that happens sometimes. People, and people laugh when it's, I'm not giving no blinking joke. <laughs> one, one, one day I went to the office and I was sick. I was very sick. Yeah. And I had a fever and I was trembling. I was in the treatment, treatment room. And this man and the woman looked at me and start laughing. And pointing and laughing. Hey, it's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> like, give me a blanket, you damn ass. <laughs> Police, police stopped me on yeah. the road. Yeah. Um, I remember once this guy stopped me by the, the embassy, by the traffic light. And then I say, he comes towards the car and says, oh God, what is it now? Come to the car, wind out the window. He says to me, so where I can get tickets for the item of fancy girls. <laughs> <laughs> so it's crazy. Oh my God. Police man. So the people, yeah. the people um, you know, view you as saying that, you know, you have multiple personalities or... Well, I do, I do. I'm, I'm crazy. So my, my, my kids will tell you that. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Crazy doctor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And my kids will tell you that. Okay. Okay. 
Like, what, what? I hear, hold on, something's freaking happening. I hear talking and I don't know who's talking to me. It's random. Hey, guy. Random guy. Random guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, Robert. He's invisible. It's a resident random guy. He's no, invisible. <laughs> Never seen on camera. <laughs> there are like about 40 people in the studio, listeners. I don't know what these people are. I don't know. Oh my gosh. So, the, 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 the new season of Item Fancy get them call your feet and Tara. I didn't know what they're doing. I know they have some other projects doing. Yeah, yeah. they have some. I know there's some other show they're working on, and they have the live, the, the live show yeah. mm -hmm. every month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'm not really sure what the TV show is doing this year. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. okay. So, you're going to be on the comedy cafe? Pardon me? You're going to be on the Comedy Cafe IT show um, in a month. You're going to be on it. I've, I've been on it and You're be last year. Uh -huh. Did I go this year? I've been on it once or twice. But but they rotate the acts every month. They're not okay. the same people every month. Mm -hmm. So probably later on in the year. Yeah. More than likely. Is it hard to like come up with material, like jokes and... Like, so you know that it's going to be funny. Yeah, I should try to form all my children, mm -hmm. like my son. And, and, that's when I, and that's when I bombed. Oh, he, was, he, was like he? About, he was about two years old at the time, so he laughed at everything. <laughs> yeah. So I have to talk to people who understand stuff yeah, now. Yeah, yes. So um, there's no shortage of material, especially with the, puppet, with the politicians we have in Jamaica now. Mm -hmm. I'm very grateful to them for the material. Speaking of that, <laughs> very. what would Bruce Golden say about this? <coughs> <new> tax, tax <laughs> <in Jamaica? laughs> Yeah, draw me in a mix up here. I have, no, I, have, I have no idea what I'd have no idea what the man said. Right. No, but just pretend. Yeah. Just pretend. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't know what I don't know what you would say what probably. Would he say? You probably um I don't know about the tax thing. Yeah. He yeah. probably want to transform some stuff. He used to like to talk about transformation. Yeah. Mm. So he'd probably transform some stuff. Give me a talk as him or something. Why you want mixed milk? People the man, the man, the man, the man, the man, I want people yeah. to think that we have yeah. Bruce well, in right studio. Up. Yeah, we want people to think we have Bruce Gold in Mr. studio. Mr. Abrams, could you give us to some extent this <laughs> voice of uh, Mr. Edward Siaga, so to speak? So. <laughs> no, I don't do that. I don't try that. I'm scared of Mr. Siaga. So <laughs> scared of well, you should be. You should be scared of him. I'm scared of him. I'm scared of him. I'll leave that one alone, sir. <laughs> so, as well as we talk about comedian, we talk about poetry, but you also had a, a new title to, to your name. Clean a columnist. Last couple of months. Clean a columnist. Yeah, that was, that it's just weird how my life has evolved because I didn't plan for it. It's weird. When I was in high school, I didn't like writing stories. I didn't like writing anything. Mm -hmm. And then I find myself writing poetry and then writing this column in the Green. It's weird. But, but one of the reasons why I took on, I heard another voice. What's going on? Like a dopey or something. I heard another weird. What was that? What was it? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? This place is freaky. You guys are freaks. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, no, no. This guy oh, no. called me to talk about vaginas. Race. You want to talk about that? Right. So, yeah, so. Here, what was that? I'm, I'm lost. I have ADD too, so I forget. Uh, uh, I lose track. So you never like we're talking about right the column thing, right? Mm -hmm. So the reason why why I took this on is because I want people to see a different side to me. Pe some people think I'm only about laughing and stuff, but I really am a social commentator. Yeah. And the writing the columns, you know, has given me the opportunity to show that other side. Mm -hmm. Because some things I write about, I find funny. Yeah. Some things are very serious. True. So the last thing I wrote about was um, the kind of the Vatican still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because and this is no disrespect to the decent Catholics out there, but they made John Paul II a, a saint. Yeah. yeah. When John Paul was the Pope, there's a lot of abuse going on in the church that was ignored by the Vatican. Mm -hmm. There's a father called Fa Father Gagan in Boston who molested over 120 boys. I'm, I'm, I'm named Father Gagan. Funny, yeah. Uh -huh. It's pronounced uh -huh. Gagan, but it's spelled kind of. But uh -huh. he did nothing about that. Mm. And then the man is now a saint. Yeah. The, 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 arch, the cardinal who moved Gay Gagan around and put him on a child raping tour in Boston. Oh my gosh. When he, he left Boston, yeah. John Paul gave him a job in the Vatican. Yeah. So, abundant. But he can't be my saint. I should be a saint then. Cartel should be a saint then. True. Yeah, he, True. I think he's a saint in Jamaica. True. True. I think, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and some of the things people, I write about people may think are controversial. I really don't think so. Yeah. Just like one of Mr. Karen King. We had him on the show as well. Yeah. I love Karen. I love Karen. Look up that interview. Right, right <laughs> I know. interesting. I, 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 love his, I love his work. Yeah. Um, so you he's set out to be like, we admire each other's work. You set out yeah. to be like a country and like him. No, I. I I just speak my, I'm honest about what I say. I don't say anything to rile up anybody. No. Yeah. But, but like, for example, one of my favorite topics is religion. It fascinates me. Mm -hmm. Because people read the same book and come away with totally different 
interpretation, interpretation of the book. Yeah. So if you look at blood and alcohol, for example, witnesses say you must avoid blood, but you can drink alcohol. Mm -hmm. Adventists say you must avoid alcohol, but you can take blood. Mm -hmm. And Catholics take this whole blood alcohol thing to a new level. They think if, you, if a priest blesses alcohol, mm. it becomes blood, mm -hmm. and then they drink the blood. Mm -hmm. So the other day I wrote a story about Noah's Ark. Yeah. Because Read that, that story yeah. is just it just on the back of the release off. of the Noah movie. It just <laughs> <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. When it, because we are socialized to accept certain things. Mm -hmm. We believe a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was asking a question, if you were to step back and look at the story objectively, mm. if it were written in another book, not the Bible, would anybody really believe? Because it's kinda weird. Yeah. Probably. To have every animal, I mean how the hell the Kangaroo, the mother reach Australia, and the polar bear, and another polar, and, and <laughs> the penguins. So we'll answer this, uh, Mr. Herbert. You're, you're an atheist. You look at no, I'm a deist. I believe in a, a deist. I believe in a supreme being. Okay. Yes. I've always believed in a god. Yeah. I always believe in God. Supreme, the maker, who made all of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I really don't have any personal you use for organized, you organized religion. religion. I can't and feel my father takes me enough to ask you some question, but I'm not going to answer. My no. father passed, by the way. Sorry. I love to talk to him. I love to, I, love to, I love to engage persons of faith in their beliefs because mm -hmm. it, it helps me to understand and I mean, why they believe. So what I they believe. You know, but but I was raised as a Christian, you know, I was mm. born, I was grown as one. Yeah. yeah. And, and it was, I, I accepted religion out of fear. Yeah. Because mm. they say, I, they tell you that God's love is the most powerful love. But if you don't big up him, so they burn in hell forever. Who they want burn in hell forever? So I believe it. <laughs> so in True. high school, when in high school, when my friends start having sex, I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. Because I'm saying, Jesus going to come like a, like a thief in the night. Mm. I know. And next to me, they said, I broke my ducks, and Jesus turned up in the middle of my ducks. Uh. Broken, <laughs> and they go to hell. <laughs> so I wasn't doing that. Yeah. I, I, I so you, you all of my life with a fear. Fear. Right. fear. Somehow yeah. I feel that's an excuse. Yeah, you never really have no skills in high school. Anyways. <laughs> 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 the poem name never did work. <laughs> I just got a call to go to the hospital now. <laughs> Jesus. Interview's um, over, right? No, it's over. Over. Don't it's over. Ignore over. him. Ignore Full him. Full of fallen armor. That's Jeez, what he's known um, for. He's just... I'm, I'm very good at it, you know. I can last a good, a good, a good 60 seconds. So, <laughs> back off and leave me alone. <laughs> I wouldn't know. 60 seconds long, right? It's very long. It's only exactly. per, milli per milliseconds, you know, my youth. True that. <laughs> All right. So, let's go into something fun. Alright, so you love music. So yeah. tell me like your top five songs that you have on in, in your music playlist. My iPod like has like fifteen thousand songs in it, man. And listen to all the political genres and music. It, it can't even tell you that. But you say you say where you're like, coming oh, and you're you're commenting on our new no, music. No, no, like I will listen alright. This is the kind of first I mean I mean listen to like Mighty Spirit today. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow I listen to Teddy Pendergrass, then I listen mm -hmm. to Jimi Hendrix, mm -hmm. I listen to Damian Marley, no two then chains. I listen to all kind of stuff. <laughs> no two chains? I have two chains, of course, they're my gate. What the hell do you think of them? We have no one that wants to say one, two, two chains, chains at him gate. Yeah. <laughs> I wear one chain now. This <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Kanye West yeah. is extremely talented, but he's such an indeed. Can I say, eh, eh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or, in all RFS? Yeah. In a, it, it's hard. You hear them thing that? He's just a jerk, he, yeah. but he's he's very he's talented. Very I think he's like twisted. Brilliant. He's twisted. It's kind of like crazy. crazy. I didn't like, I didn't like, yeah. Yeah. I didn't like yeah. to see, I didn't like to see his face. When I see his face, I want to slap it. Too? When I see his face, I just want to box it. So not him chin, him other chin. But, he's talent, but the thing is, many people are very talented and also very warped. Yeah, yeah. Especially don't know about their personal life sometimes. Listen to the music. True. But but he's talented. He really yeah, is. He is. All right, so top five places that you like to visit or your favorite place to visit. Can I sit on the air? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared no, now. Oh, what is no white man? Why are we going to question it? Yeah. Why are we going to go oh, on <laughs> You're talking about geographic lo 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 locations or, or parts of the body parts. <laughs> Alright, well, is, it, is your top five places to visit? So tell me, tell me, <laughs> tell me. Me I geographic locations? Yeah, yeah, geographic. Oh, that's easy then. So I thought you meant something. I'm sorry, I, mis <laughs> I misinterpreted that. <laughs> uh, uh, it's, I, I love New York City. Yeah? A Why? lot. All the lights, you know, just, just, especially Manhattan, yeah. mm. because there's so many, there's so much to do, mm -hmm. and I'm a busybody. I don't keep still very long. Yeah. Um, there's always something to do in Manhattan, and Manhattan has Madison Square Garden, mm -hmm. and Madison Square Garden has like concerts mm -hmm. and so, music. So I love music, right? But, but a lot of the acts that I like, mm -hmm. 
would not come to Jamaica. So what I do is I kind of save my money and go away and watch them. Yeah, who, People who, never come. Who he? Like Prince. Ooh. Um, I love rock. You know Van Halen is? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Van Halen. Yeah. The Police, Tina Turner, yeah. Lenny yes. Kravitz, yeah. Tina. I know. Yeah. Madonna. Mm, I know. Yeah. So I, I go away and watch people like that. So, yeah. I, but New York is just a fun place. So you watch and everybody? You just watch, like, that's the, that's the thing that you love to do, watch concert? Yeah. The most, yes. Yeah, wow. So your children yeah. come with you? Because that's an experience, because I would want to go. <laughs> no, not, not, well, not at the concerts. Yeah. I mean, if we go for vacation, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. All right, so you, um, you're so busy. Do you watch TV before I ask this question? Like, you I watch, watch TV. Like, what's watch, your favorite thing to watch? I watch Bill Murray on a Friday no, night. HBO. Yeah. I was yeah. just yeah. going to ask you if you watch Love time. and Hip Hop. No, that, that's <laughs> on, yeah, that's yeah. all like everything. Like. Yeah. I like Bill Murray because he's very he's he's a comedian. He's a social comedian. He's, he's very intelligent. Yeah. yeah. And he's he's brutally frank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like people brutally frank. Watch his documentary yeah. religious. That's funny. It is. It is. It, My Christian friends it, it kind of like shaped me really just re believes a little, but it's it, it funny. Me, I forget that. Yeah, I it's funny. To, I, I watch Bill Maher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you don't watch reality TV? No, not really. Man, watch watch Why? Why? I have Marianne. to ask. I have to ask. Even like Real Housewives or wherever. I'm talking about Love and Hip Hop. You can't please leave Ari. I think with no Ari. No. No star. The answer to the question is no. Next thing you're going to ask you, Mr. Mimi, for sex tape or anything. Anyways. The answer to the question is sex tape. Mimi. See me even know. Nini Leaks, right? Know who is no. I know stuff. Not Nini Leaks, Mimi. Oh, Mimi. Yes. Oh, I don't know who that is. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nini's on one of them House Housewives shows, right? Nini, right? She's on Atlanta. She's totally Ariane. disgusting. No, she's <laughs> not. Well, this season, not. she kind of is. You like, want to live with her? You bigger. want to live with her? No, but okay. this season, she's turning. She's warping. Yeah, I'm going to turn this around. She's warping. She's warping. So, so, so let me know. Tell me about the Mimi sex tape thing. I want to know for medical reasons. Off air. Off air. Off air. We just that. Anyways. Yes. Start. Yeah. Thanks for passing through. Thanks yeah. very much. So it's over already? It's over already? Yeah. Two chains at the we... gate. <laughs> <laughs> Are you said up any skills that you done already? Yeah. <laughs> Kiss the <laughs> leg. Oh, yes, yeah. Sorry, oh. I mean too much. <laughs> you walked right into that one. Right. Yeah. You walked right into yeah. that one. <laughs> Anyways. Well, well, I said thanks to Dr. Eros again. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I first remember you and I was so quiet. Yeah, man. I'm eager. Like, no, something like, Anyways, um, it's slightly fixed. Yeah, you start slightly fixed. Give it to me, baby. Yeah. Give it to me, baby. Yeah. Give it to me, baby.